Hi, it's Dr. JP again, and I just wanted to tell you that I don't think I've ever read a Fly Guy book to you. And so I thought, let's read Super Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. It's a good one. So, first, let me bring you over here, and we can get started here with Super Fly Guy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There are many Fly Guy books. Super Fly Guy, by Ted Arnold. Hmm, now that was Fly Guy. He is in his room. Now, a boy had a pet fly, and the fly was named Fly Guy. And Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz, Buzz. And this is Buzz. And... He kept Fly Guy in his room right here as his pet. Chapter 1 One day, Fly Guy decided mm, he went to school with Buzz. And they rode over in the car to school. Fly Guy learned all about reading and phonics. And he started practicing his words. Does, what, buzz. Was, does, buzz, was. And he learned all about art. And there he is making a little picture with Buzz in school. And then it was lunchtime, and Fly Guy, he loved the lunchroom. Oh, yes. He loved all the dirty dishes, and he loved the smelly mop. And he really loved the garbage cans. Oh, yes. And Fly Guy met the lunch lady, and her name was Roz. There he is in the garbage, and there's Roz. No flies in the lunchroom, Roz said. And she picked him up. And Fly Guy, he saw her name was Roz. And he goes, Roz, Roz. Hey, wait a minute. This fly is smart, said Roz. He knows my name. Hmm. Wow. Can't just... He's a smart one. So she decided she was going to feed him some chicken bones and fish heads and sour milk. And Fly Guy was happy because he loved that. But, chapter two, Roz's boss was not happy. Do you know that children can't eat in a room of flies, he said. You're fired, Roz. And she started crying. And Roz was sad, and Fly Guy was sad. Buzz and the children were sad because Roz, she really was a good cook. Oh. And the next day, Roz was gone, and Ms. Muzzle was the new lunch lady. They brought in Ms. Muzzle to replace Roz. And she had a lot fly swatters with it. But Miss Muzzle, she made burnt peas and burnt turnips. And no one in the school ate lunch. Not even Fly Guy. And he, he ate almost everything. Because Miss Muzzle just burned everything. And there Fly Guy is staring at a pile of burned ashes and he can't even eat it. And no one can eat. Ugh. Everything is burned. And everyone missed Roz, even the boss, mister. And the principal would sit in his office crying because he was having to look at a burnt lunch every day. But that night, Buzz made a plan. And this is what his plan was. 
The next day, Fly Guy went to school again, and in the lunchroom, Fly Guy said, Ms. Muzzle, Ms. Muzzle, Ms. Muzzle. And Miss Muzzle looked up, and Fly Guy, he flew right, and he bonked her right in the nose. And you know what? Miss Muzzle started crying. No flies in the lunchroom! No flies in the lunchroom now! And she grabbed her swatter and she started swinging. And she started swinging at Fly Guy and she missed. And she just kept hitting other things. And she swung and swung and missed. And she missed again. And then she flew another place and she missed again. And then she missed again. And she missed again. And this time she smacked the kid's lunch. Oh, she was destroying everything. Trying to get Fly Guy. And then the boss came in and saw the mess she was making. And he was not happy. The children can't eat in this mess. You're fired. And he fired Miss Muzzle. And the next day, Roz was back. She was hired again. And she said, You saved my job, Fly Guy. You are a super Fly Guy. Roz. 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 And you know what? She made a special garbage soup for Fly Guy. Fly Guy was happy. And he drank up that soup so nice. And it was delicious. And everyone was happy. The kids, Roz, the principal, and Fly Guy. And that is the end of Super Fly Guy. But Fly Guy is back for many more episodes if you like this one.